This is Politicus News with Sarah Jones, and here's what's happening. Trump excels at what psychologists call the illusion of truth effect. According to the Washington Post, as of March 17, 2019, Trump has averaged 15 false claims a day in 2018. In 787 days, Trump has made 9,179 false or misleading claims. His most repeated lie is claiming that it was proven that there was, quote, no collusion, there's no collusion, there's no collusion, and there hasn't been collusion, unquote. But it is the little lies that paved the way for the big lies. As part of asserting his right to dictate reality, Trump fought this week with the dead Republican Senator John McCain blaming him for Trump's own failure to achieve policy goals. Adding, I gave him the kind of funeral that he wanted, which as president I had to approve. I don't care about this. I didn't get a thank you. That's okay. We sent him on the way, but I wasn't a fan of John McCain. CNN's Jim Acosta corrected this, writing, according to the Washington National Cathedral, this is false. Only a state funeral for a former president involves consultation with the government officials. No funeral at the cathedral requires the approval of the president or any other government official. Trump is going to run in 2020, of course, as the seller of the big lie would, on Democrats being weak on terrorism and weak on national defense. To that end, Trump's illusion of truth effect was in full evidence on Wednesday when the president held up a drawing of ISIS claiming that the red area was ISIS before his election and the lack of red was after. Factcheck.org didn't agree. And they noted that Trump starts the clock at his election rather than when he actually took office, something he does quite often, especially regarding the economy and jobs. And by the way, in honor of Carter being the oldest president alive today, President Carter created more jobs than Donald Trump during the first 25 months in office. Fact Check concludes the offensive to recapture ISIS's de facto, de facto capital city of Raqqa began in November 2016 under Obama. Ultimate victory there was not declared until October 2017 under Trump. Wednesday evening, Trump tweeted a conspiracy claim that came out of outlets like Russia Today shortly after the Trump-Russia conspiracy was in the news in November 2016, about a Clinton-Ukrainian plot being bigger than the Trump-Russia scandal. This is, of course, not true. Republican Representative Devin Nunes, who was in the news for suing a fake cow on Twitter, after the California Republican got shadow banned for tweeting fake news conspiracies, pushed this conspiracy up the hill with the help of Hannity on Fox News when he was still chairman of the House Intelligence Committee. Turning discussions about Mueller's probe into talks about Clinton, her emails, bleach bit, um, and her propaganda efforts to distribute the Steele dossier, which actually originated as anti-Trump research paid for by the conservative website, The Free Beacon. And of course, Clinton did not do that. Uh, the illusion of truth effect is also associated with the Nazi Josef Goebbels, a uh, mantra repeat a lie often enough, and it becomes the truth. The scientific fact is that repetition, like the president engages in with his C.J. Run speech, increases the odds that a false statement will be seen as true. The BBC reported on a study by Lisa Fazio of Vanderbilt University who put to the test how the illusion of truth effect interacts with prior knowledge. Her study concluded that yes, prior knowledge will not prevent repetition from swaying our judgments of plausibility. Repetition can even make known lies sound more believable. That is why the network should not be showing Trump speaking, frankly, unless they're going to uh, debunk his lies before he speaks. In other studies about conspiracies, scientists have found that if we debunk a lie before we repeat the lie, people are much less prone to fall for conspiracies. There are still many news outlets who are running what Trump 
and or his administration tell them is a fact, from the claims about the border to claims about the economy. The illusion of truth can and is undermining our democracy, courtesy not only of Trump, but of those who enable him, including some mainstream media outlets. Join me on Tuesday morning for the next episode of 100% People Driven Politicus News with Sarah Jones. You can find our episodes on Politicus USA at the top of the page to get alerts of new videos, follow us on Facebook and YouTube, and do subscribe to our newsletter. We are independent and the facts are real.